Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to explore the world of bone conduction headphones. In particular, these ones from Shox. And in particular, in particular, the Open Run SE product. Now, we are going to discuss other products as well to give you a comparison. And unlike the reviews that uh, we've looked through so far, we're prepared. We've done a pile of research on this in addition to a thorough test. Now, that being said, these came from Costco. By the way, most of the SE ones come from Costco, although there are other places you can get them. But Costco has given us nothing for this review, and Shox has given us nothing for it. So if you find the video useful, big thumbs up would be super appreciated. It really does help with the Google algorithms. So the first thing to know is how bone conduction works and where it's appropriate and where it's not, because it's not perfect for everyone. So we'll unbox this right now and explain the technology. Bone bud or bone transducer technology bypasses your eardrum altogether. The bone bud uses a transducer to convert the audio signals into micro vibrations on your cheekbones, specifically the temporal bone if you care, and it goes straight into your cochlea in your inner ear. Your brain interprets those vibrations as sound and boom, you're on your way. Oh, something we should have mentioned is you can see here there's a little button and that is for pause and play and answer the phone, so on and so forth. Look, if you just want to know if these shocks open run SE headphones, earbuds, whatever you want to call them, are any good? Yeah, they're great. But let's start off with what's wrong with the alternatives. Earbuds. Three big things wrong with earbuds. One, they're so easy to lose. People lose them all the time. Two, you have to put earbuds in your ear. And everybody's ear is different, so you get those different sized rubber ends, and they're never quite right. And three, they fall out if you're biking or running or having activity. So I don't know about you, but I've given up on earbuds. Then there's headphones. So if you're under 25, you've got a great big set of earphones, you know, just like we used to have back in the 70s. Yeah, super cool. No, it's not. You're gonna look back on those photos and say, think, what a dork. Not to mention, much more importantly, both earbuds and headphones have a primary function of cutting the sound out around you. These have purely additional sound. So what that means is if you're a runner or a biker or you walk, you can still hear vehicles and other things coming up around you. You know, a biker coming up behind you that's ringing his bell. So if you don't like to die, these are a good choice. So if they're so great, why doesn't everybody produce just these? It's pretty simple. Uh, two things. One, they don't have active noise cancellation. In fact, they don't have any noise cancellation, as we mentioned. That's their primary benefit. And if you're sitting in a noisy place, like on a bus or on an airplane, well, active noise cancellation is pretty nice. Actually, any noise cancellation is nice. This is not who this is meant for. These are meant for active people, people that are out and about that need to be aware of their surroundings. The sound also, while it's very good, especially for voice, loses bass compared to earbuds. So if you want that boom, 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 yeah, you're not gonna get it with these or any bone conduction products. Okay, so before we get into the specs of these things, let's tell you a little bit about the company because you'll probably be surprised. Shocks used to be called Aftershocks and they were a military contractor started in 2011. And their whole thing was to allow soldiers to listen to the environment, you know, be situationally aware while still in communication. They renamed the company from Aftershocks to Shocks in, I think it's 2021. Now there is some noise cancellation on these, it's on the microphone that's built into them. And the microphone, I tested it by the way, on the Open Run SEs is identical to the microphone that's on the Open Run Pro 2s. However, the processing, the signal processing, that occurs here is nowhere near as good as it is on the Open Run Pro 2s. We'll have a review of those in a few days. The battery life on these is eight hours. On the Pro 2s, it's claimed as 12 hours. But who needs more than eight hours? I mean, honestly, you're practically going to get probably six hours out of these. These came in at just $94 Canadian at Costco. So about, I don't know, 70 something US. The Open Pro 2s are about 25% more expensive. Is it worth that? Possibly, but that doesn't diminish the value of these. These are great. And that gets to another good point. These are manufactured in Vietnam, not China, which means the import tariffs in the United States are not near as severe. 
and these are using Bluetooth 5.1. The Open Pro 2s use the superior Bluetooth 5.3, but 5.1 is excellent. Now, each version of Bluetooth has had big improvements in battery life. And I'm talking of both the sending device, like your phone, and the receiving device being, in this case, the Shox headphones. Okay, what about using these in actual day-to-day -day application? Well, I took this out for a walk just now, about 14,000 steps along a very busy road, and I could play some sound samples for you, but you know what it's gonna sound like? Exactly what you'd expect, so I'm not gonna bother to waste your time like a few of these videos I've seen. You hear the cars in the background, you hear the guy walking up behind you, and I can hear my audio beautifully, especially for podcasts. But a bit surprisingly, the Open Run SEs have a superior dust and water rating compared to the newer, much more expensive, Open Run Pro 2s. These are IP67. We'll put a chart up explaining what that means. The first number, in this case six, relates to dust, and the second number, in this case seven, relates to water. These are IP67, and the more expensive model is only IP55. So if you're going to abuse something, these are better. You know, you drop them in the water a lot for some reason, or you work in a really dusty factory, these are probably the better product. Okay, so back to the technology. These use the eighth generation of bone conduction technology that Shox has come out with, and it's impressive. This sits in front of your ear and is very, very comfortable. It's virtually no weight at only 68 grams. And unlike earbuds, you can't lose it because it's got this little bar behind it. Unlike headphones, it doesn't have a bar over top. As somebody that's bought the better part probably of a thousand earbuds and headphones over the years, I can tell you women, as a general rule, just hate having that bar go over the top of their head. So having something like this is perfect. You can see it sits far enough away that even if you have hair, it's fine, and you could put it through your hair if you wanted. Now, these are purely bone conduction. The Pro 2s that are 10th generation. So in addition to having better bone conduction, they also have a little speaker that projects the sound into your actual ear, which fixes that bass problem that these have. Calling that bass problem a problem is a bit much. Now, I walked with these for hours today, and they are great. Within a few minutes, you completely forget that they're on. Some people in reviews say that you can feel them vibrate a bit because of course it's vibrating your jawbone. Uh, and sure, I felt a tiny little bit at the start, but within, I don't know, a minute or two, it was gone away. Now, I wear glasses, so I'll put a picture up here showing me walking with it outside. Glasses, no problem. Uh, and I bike, that's my primary sport. And you can see here, no problem at all. They don't get pinched. They fit great. One other thing people talk about with these is sound leakage. Because they're not actually in your ear, other people can hear them. I mean, a teeny tiny bit. I was in a store and I asked two other people if they could hear what the, I was listening to, and they said no. They could tell that there was something, but they couldn't make out any words. It was still very private. Somebody's got it jammed right up to 100%, and you're right beside them, and you know the song, you might be able to hear it. But in my case, I'm listening primarily to podcasts, and these carry voice so well. One other cool point with these is that they charge really fast. You can imagine, it's pretty small, so the battery in here is pretty small. And, I mean, at 26 grams, it's just nothing. So these things charge in about an hour and a half from dead. And yes, by the way, they shipped charged. So let's wrap this up with a review of the Open Run SE bone conduction headphones. I have tested this on my Samsung S25. I have tied this to my television, a Hisense A6. I was really surprised how much I like these because as I said, I've tried bone conduction technology in the past and not been very happy with it. These Open Run products are impressive. You don't have to be careful with them because they're IP67. They're large enough that you can't lose them, but small enough you can put them anywhere you want. Look, they fold up into nothing. They don't weigh anything. You forget you've got them on, and you've still got all of that situational awareness around you. So when you're biking, or running, or walking, or playing tennis for that matter, you've still got the awareness of everything around you. We really do like these things. So hey, if you found this video useful, big thumbs up would be super appreciated. Subscribe's also appreciated. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can always get a hold of us directly at www.urteth, that's www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.